So as I flip the camera on here, uh, March 20th of 2023, I'm going to recount what's probably the mo hmm, second most serious thing I've ever had to record for this channel. The first being a previous video about my son going to the hospital. So as much as I love you guys, I love my son more. What follows is an account of my first-hand perspective of the events that unfolded when the ambulance pulled out onto the race track at Roebling Road Raceway. I did not edit the footage, I did not enhance, I did not digitize or otherwise color grade anything. I pulled the clips off the camera, I stuck them end to end in my editing software and I added a small fade at the very end. While I was there I did a recap of everything I just saw so it was fresh in my memory and I could better present it to you guys. I took footage of one of the machines that was actually in the impact. I actually spoke to one of the riders. And thank you, sir, for speaking to me and shaking my hand. I'm glad you're still here with us. I wish I could speak to the other rider, but he was already gone in another ambulance after the impact. The setup you see before you was actually intended for my races that I did not run that day. So it seems a little dramatic, a little bit over the top, but it is a setup that I am trying to run and perfect to bring you guys the best value in the videos you watch from me. So without further ado, Okay, so we're, we're, we're stop a coal track, I don't know. But I just saw something that I have never seen before in my life. <sighs> Let's see if I can explain it as best I can. Yeah, I'm standing here for a reason. Because over there is where it happened. The, the race was going, the A Super Stock race was going. see it through the tech shed area and I had just shot the footage of the guys going into turn one. back standing basically well in line with these pine trees right here right over there and I looked and I saw the ambulance going getting ready to go out so they were gonna send the ambulance out after the race they weren't red flag it was just yellow flag so they're gonna send the ambulance out so I'm sitting there going okay that's about to happen and I turn back around coming back this way towards the pits and I hear smash bang crack just freaking a, a bike hit something. I look back around and all I see is pieces of debris flying down track. The ambulance is now on track, pulling forward. And, and I, don't, I couldn't process what happened. I'm standing there, everybody's running. So all I could do was go, well, let me turn the camera on because somebody has to shoot this. And it's like the weird dilemma where you're standing there going, all right, journalism you have to record stuff that you don't want to record i didn't it wasn't like me going over there was going to help anything there's already 50 people over there so now i can do the only thing i can do which is flip the camera on that's what i did and here's the footage You gotta be freaking kidding me.
now I'm coming back into the pits and th that's the 1000 race. So Steven's racing 1000. I come back in. So I get this freaking sinking feeling like, where is my friend? Turn around, right over here, crash truck pulls in there, Steven. He was the yellow flag in turn one. So he's sitting on the berm and he sees all this happen. Basically the ambulance pulls out on track, stops, a bike passes in front of it, runs off to the left, going down like this, 160 miles an hour. Another bike, both these guys jump off their bikes to not T-bone the ambulance. One of them, this guy down here. Okay, down here. And I, and I'm a, I don't know if I can talk to him, but I'm definitely gonna like get some shots of his bike and stuff. But guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Should I race today? Should I continue racing with Vera?